This is another chi-square goodness of fit test. In this test, our claim is that we have this distribution of observations. Let me go to a red color. In the first category, the claim is that we that 10% of all the observations are going to be in that category, 20% in category B, 40% in C, and 30% in D. So first we have to look at our total number of observations from our sample. And, and that was 120. So if 10% of those are in category A, that would be 12. 20% B is going to give us 24 for our expected observations. 40% is going to be 48. That's a four. In category C, and finally 36 in category D for 30%. Basically, I just multiplied 120 by 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0.3. For the chi-square test statistic, we have to find a chi-square value for each category and add them all up. And so the chi-square is equal to observed minus expected. That means the frequency and the observed and the frequency and the expected. And we're going to square that difference and divide by the expected. And so for category A, we're going to get 16.333 for our chi-square. Category B, that's going to give us 8.167. One six, that's a 1. And again, that would be, for category B, it would be 38 minus 24 squared divided by 24. Category C is 13.021, and D is 0 0.250. The total, if I add those all up, is 37.77. And you're going to be using some kind of technology, usually, to do all of this. Rarely will you do it by hand. Uh, TI-84 calculator is a good um, calculator to use for, the, for statistics. The next question, though, is what is the p-value? Now, the p-value, you can't find that by hand. We're going to have to use either a table or some kind of technology. I used the TI-84 and found that the p-value was equal to 3.161 times 10 to the minus 8, which is approximately 0. The degrees of freedom in this problem is 3 because it's number of categories minus 1. This is a very, very small p-value. That means it's highly unlikely that we could have gotten the distribution that we got, the, our observed frequency distribution, if that null hypothesis was really true. If we're using a significance level of 0 0.005, that's a very small significance level, but we're still so small that since our p-value is less than 0.005, we will reject the null hypothesis. Again, the p-value means that that's the probability that we could have gotten a sample with that frequency, the observed frequencies, if that null hypothesis was really true. Since it's so small, our p-value is so small, that means it's unlikely that that null hypothesis is true. Thank you.